Hello and welcome to Bella Riosa Cooking with Injuries. I'm Bella Riosa and this channel is all about me sharing some tips and tricks that I have learned from 10 plus years of having some chronic injuries as well as mild injuries. In today's episode, we're going to be using the same dough that we use to bake bread in a slow cooker, but we're going to be cooking it in a slow cooker to make a flat wrap. So here's the dough. It's um, if you want to, if you need to know how to get up to this, I'll have a quick video of getting it just after this. But if you need to see the full tips and tricks, go over and check out my baking bread in a slow cooker video and I'll have all the tips and tricks of how to get this dough looking beautiful. To make the dough for this artisan loaf of bread, first we add 700 grams of plain flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of yeast, next one and a half teaspoons of salt. Mix the yeast in, mix the salt in, and then mix it all through the whole flour. Now we're going to add 450 grams of just above lukewarm water. Put the water into the flour. Add one tablespoon of olive oil. Mix all the ingredients until it forms a ball. Next, put some cling wrap over the bowl to make it airtight, as the dough does not like air. Place a clean tea towel over the bowl to put the dough in its bed for approximately the next 16 hours. With some nice clean hands, I'm going to go in and pulling the dough off the sides of the bowl until I go the whole way around the bowl. What I'm doing here is picking up the dough and folding it over. And I'm doing this about four times. So I'm not kneading the dough, just folding it over. Not sure if you can see through the camera, it's getting harder to do this. The reason is because the bread is strengthening. This is what we want. This is what will make a nice loaf of bread. Just trying to shape it into a ball, pulling the dough at the top to put some tension into it and bringing it around to a seam at the bottom of the loaf. Once shaped, put it in the pan. Now making this as airtight as possible, and put the clean tea towel back over the top. Now we let this sit here for two hours to do a second rise. This dough has had the second rise for two hours and I'll just pull off the plastic. As you can see, it's looking nice and big and beautiful. Now, as I only want to make one um, flatbread for lunch for me. I'm going to use a pastry thing and just cut off a little bit of dough. I'm just kind of rolling it into a loose ball shape. I'm trying to be really careful at this stage because this has had its second rise. It's got a whole lot of air pockets in it. And this is what is going to make it nice and light and fluffy. If I was to squish it all down, I'd be losing all that and be turning out with a really dense bread. So what I'm gonna do is just stretch it out. Same thing as if I was making a pizza, because you can make a pizza from this dough as well. And I'm going to turn the pan on a heat just to start preheating the pan. I've turned the pan on a medium heat. And if it's just not coming into a shape, for, so I've got about 140 grams of dough here. And if it's just not coming into a shape for you, do feel free to use the rolling pin. The dough is being just a little too sticky to work with. So I've got some plain flour and I'm going to sprinkle it over the dough. Now 
Now it's moving a lot better. So I've stretched this out to a small dough size. I'm going to put it on the stove top. the lid on and let that cook away for a couple of minutes. Now while that's slowly cooking we're just going to cook up some um, chicken breast. So let's grab out another pan. So while the bread, the flatbread is cooking away we're just going to heat up another pan. Now I'm going to be making a nice, I'm going to be making a nice chicken wrap set for lunch. I've got two options here. I could use a normal chicken breast and crumb it myself, you know, pull out the flour, pull out the crumbs, pull out the egg whites, mix it all up. But this is cooking with injuries. So we are going to use the frozen version. It's just a lot easier. Like, yes, the version that you make from scratch might taste better, but I'm doing this as a quick meal instead of ordering it as a takeaway. Now I know a lot of the frozen ones say to cook in the oven. I just find I think they cook taste better if I cook them on the stove top. So I've preheated my pan. And I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there. Swirl the oil around to make sure it's warmed. Get my frozen chicken breast and put it in there. That's all. Just wait it and then we'll just keep an eye on it waiting until it is cooked. Let's just check on the bread. Okay, it's starting to brown up on this side, so we'll flip it over and let it keep going. As I shared in the cooking the bread in the slow cooker video, bread is cooked at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason I can remember that number is a big number on my um, thermometer. I am actually normally a degree Celsius person, as you might be able to tell by the accent, I'm Australian. So it, that is 93 degrees Celsius. So just below when um, water boils. That means that as long as what you're cooking uh, the bread in gets hotter than 93 degrees Celsius, the bread will cook. That's why you can cook the bread on the stovetop. And this type of dough, every different shape you do it, every different thing you cook it in, it comes up with a slightly different flavour. I'm even about to try just going, okay, let's pull it out and make some dinner rolls and see how that turns out. Oh, my chicken is coming up nicely. And my bread is coming up nicely. So you can see that this bread is cooked. So I'm just going to pull it off to cool down slightly. And there you have it. The chicken is cooked as well. So that was nice and easy. So to make my wrap, I've got the flatbread that I quickly wrap, um, whipped up. I'm gonna put down some garlic aioli sauce. Then I went and purchased some packet salad. So I'm going to add some packet coleslaw salad to it. And then add the chicken on top. With a little bit more sauce for 
Good fun. Attempt to fold it in half and bite into it. Mm. That is so good and that is so similar to a, um, a wrap that I would actually order fire takeaway. And I was able to make this up really simply from um, the bread dough. It didn't quite make the dough big enough for the wrap, but we'll try again next time um, just to make it a little bit thinner so it spreads out a bit further. And so much cheaper than the takeaway version. And it came together in about 30, 20, 30 minutes. Um, not that long for cooking, but from end to end process. Enjoy. <laughs>